Hello. Hello, my friends. It's been a few days since my Chiriksanango Shanani Dieta had ended. And I'm back in the village. Back in our house in the village. You can hear... You can hear the river. It's been raining throughout the night, so the river is more flooded. I'm doing good. Although things have been pretty interesting for me. Since I have ended the, the dieta, some interesting things have happened, some things I hadn't expected at all. <laughs> so I think a nice way to start with this would be to remind you about my Chiriksanango dieta, my shamanic dieta and what my why I did that, and I did that with an intention, with my prayer to God, to that I want to serve, and I want to help the world, and go on fulfilling my life's mission as a teacher, as a leader. And uh, it's been like maybe four days since I'm back, back in the village, back in the society, back among the people. And actually, two days ago, there was this unexpected thing. There was this gathering, meeting, uh, kind of improvised, unexpected meeting in, in this village where we've been told that there are certain corporations who want to get hold of the parts, important parts of this virgin jungle to, to build a highway, uh, to build a petroleum, uh, petroleum uh, like uh, company and, and mining industries to mine for copper and gold. And uh, the government is involved in this to make this thing happen, which would affect the native people living in these virgin jungle places. And that would affect this very river, you know. When these industries come in, the water becomes, as you know, as, as it what had happened in many places around the, the world. Basically, they destroy the ecosystem and, uh, and things are not the same anymore. So... To try to make the long story short, <laughs> I've gotten to... Now I'm one of the leaders against or a temporary uh, leaders against this thing, against these companies, against this government, whatever mm, involvement to to advance in these in these pristine and virgin jungle places. Basically, the people are starting to protest for their jungle, for their water. Because, as you imagine, government doesn't really care. Government just wants the money, the bribes, you know. And I've got involved, which wasn't in any of my plans uh, <laughs> to get into any kind of political leadership or anything like that. It's the first time I find myself in a situation like this, me and my beautiful woman since almost no other people wanted to take leadership and the situation is urgent I, I, had, I, I stepped in I stepped in although I also am pretty busy right now I'm, I have to prepare the jungle place my jungle house for the upcoming retreat I have four brothers coming you know for the, for the two weeks we're gonna do shamanic ceremonies and it's going to be intense. I'm very excited about that, but I, I need to make preparations for that. And now, with this urgent situation to save the rivers and to save the nature, I got involved and uh, 
and that's where I am. So I didn't expect this coming, but at the same time it is interesting <laughs> to remember that I'm just a few days out of my shamanic dieta retreat of Chiriksanango and what I've been asking God, I've got. All right. <laughs> it is rather funny at the same time. So this is, this is the situation I'm facing right now. Um, I think I'm, well, definitely I'm doing the best I can. I don't want to get involved in any politics because I quite despise it. But, well, I took this leadership position for the next couple of days until a new committee of leaders for the protest things gets elected. So basically I was supposed to help in going to the virgin jungles, going into the communities and kind of tribes in the jungle to call them, to call them to stand up and, uh, and join the protests, right? So this was, this was the idea. Interesting. Anyways, uh, if you are interested about my Chiriksanango dieta, I also, while well, di dieting the plant, I also made a lot of videos uh, talking about my first Chiriksanango experience 11 years ago. And if you are interested to see that story untold before because it, is, it was so extreme so powerful so personal that i didn't share it before at least to, to the extent that i have shared it that that, that i have shared it now and uh, you can if you're interested in the real shamanic stuff to see the and the real spiritual processes that i have un, un, underlived 11 years ago that had really shaped my life up to today well the videos are, are are online and i'm they are scheduled to be public in the upcoming days so if you're interested head to my youtube channel and in the upcoming days you can see some really intense intense videos about one of the most ex most intense experiences of my life which had impacted me a lot so go and follow me go and follow me on youtube and uh, and that is that is the update of of how i am i feel good after my dieta i'm incorporating things well um i see myself i got weaker you know, I'm back into training, but I, I can see I, I got kind of weaker because of these 21 days of intense, intense physical healing and spiritual processes. But I'm, I'm getting back, getting stronger again. And uh, this is the situation that I wanted to share with you of my life. And having said that, I wish you the best, my brothers, my sisters, my friends, and see you in the next video. Good luck. Have a good day.